uh, to another episode of uh, St. Vincent Untold Stories. On uh, this episode, we look at Orlando Guy, a youth uh, that was hit with a steel pipe, allegedly uh, nine times. His friend was also hit with uh, the steel pipe. We also look at uh, Zach Imbes, a youth uh, that used a flare pipe. Uh, to send another man uh, to the cemetery. When I say flare pipe, I mean the one that uh, they hold on the boats in case of emergency. And that one bangs really loud. Uh, Bluto! Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit uh, the like button, the subscribe button, and hit uh, the bell icon if you wish uh, to see more videos like uh, this one. If uh, you look on your screen, you would see a packed uh, barrel. Someone on Facebook made an allegation uh, that some stuff was stolen from the barrel at uh, the port. Uh, but uh, persons are saying that is impossible uh, because uh, the barrel they posted after is a totally different uh, color. And uh, we are not uh, saying that uh, things like uh, that uh, don't happen. Uh, but remember, when you are accusing someone of stealing, you have uh, to present uh, the correct evidence, and this evidence does not match at all. Uh, take a look on your screen. Uh, there are some steps there, and the locals refer to them as nine steps or 99 steps. And uh, they say it's the border between Edinburgh and Bottom Town. A few days ago, a loud noise was coming from the area. Bang, 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 bang. When uh, the dust cleared, uh, two men were hit with uh, steel pipes. Uh, both uh, men were rushed uh, to the hospital, but one did not uh, make it. Uh, the infamous rapper, uh, Curtis uh, Jackson, uh, Mr. 50 Cents, was hit with a steel pipe uh, nine times, and he barely survived. The amount of therapy he had to do after uh, that, he held on by a thread. But uh, just imagine a slim youth getting about a nine uh, from the steel pipe. Uh, viewers who are now joining uh, the channel, what we refer to as a steel pipe is the thing that goes up. Oh, blow to, tack, 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 tack. You know what I mean? We cannot call the real name here now. But uh, that is a steel pipe. And it goes back uh, to the saying again. If we can't catch Quaku, we we'll catch him short. And even though we catch Quaku, we still have to deal with the shirt. That's how the men are operating right now. Uh, so, if you have a friend and that friend is mixed up in uh, some kind of activity, and you're standing next to that friend. When uh, the bad men come, uh, they are coming for you as well. On Antola stories, we don't want to cast a shadow on anyone or paint a bad uh, picture. We do not uh, know what happened. All we know is uh, that uh, the two men uh, picked up some wild corn. It could simply be that uh, the men saw something. Or the bad men came for some information. And the men just didn't want to give the information. Uh, but from what we saw, a lot of ladies liked Orlando. Uh, could it be a case where he was doning uh, someone's lady? You know how it is with some men. Uh, some men don't take any disrespect whatsoever. Once they hear your name calling up with uh, their lady, they are coming for you. But at Andolsters, we don't want to speculate, so we are going to leave that right uh, there. Uh, plus, uh, the youth man has a family, so we don't want to put uh, them to any type of a pain to say, oh boy, and told story said this and he said that about that person, which is not a true. All I am simply highlighting is uh, that uh, two youths were hit with steel pipes, and uh, there's a steel pipe a problem right now. So we're trying uh, to get rid of the steel pipes. Look at uh, the area where the youth. Uh, collected uh, the rungs from the steel pipe. Somebody saw something, but nobody wants to talk. And Dola Stories want to say condolences uh, to the family of Orlando Guy. And now we move on uh, to a youth uh, they called uh, Zakim Beth. Uh, Zakim uh, was recently given a 20 year plus uh, prison sentence uh, for using a flare pipe. Uh, to send another man uh, to the cemetery on uh, the island of uh, Beko. Uh, the allegations are uh, that uh, Zakim and Olive had uh, several run-ins in the past. 
One time, as Akim said, he slept in his cousin's porch because he was afraid of Oliver. He said uh, that uh, he reported uh, the matter to the police station and they ran him. They told him, Zakim, get out. We don't believe your story. That is what he said. It's alleged uh, that Zakim decided enough is enough. Uh, so they are saying he was at an outing and he wanted a ride. Uh, but he had intentions. He was harassing a man on a young, young back uh, to give him a ride uh, to a hot spot. Uh, but uh, the man was saying he's not going there yet. But Zakim kept harassing the man, telling the man, let's go now. The man still said, I'm not going yet. When I'm ready, I will tell you. Uh, but you see, the owner of the bank uh, didn't want to go alone. He figured uh, something is up. So he asked uh, somebody to go with him. Uh, so he took Zakim. When they got uh, to the spot, uh, no, Zakim jumped off and he went inside. Uh, shortly after, he saw Zakim running down the road, flagging him down. Uh, so he jumped on back on the bike. Uh, but uh, someone threw a bottle at his helmet. Plus, I, he said, something is wrong. Zakim said, no, sir, nothing is wrong. Uh, but you see, at uh, the bar, uh, there was a man holding his neck because smoke was coming out. What uh, the man on the bike didn't know is uh, that a man inside was hit with a flare pipe. Yes, sir, man. You know those tools uh, that goes a bloat out? That they use on the yachts uh, to signal emergency. Yes, man, he was hit with one of her doors. So he went outside and he staggered. Uh, they called and they took him up uh, to the hospital. Uh, the allegations are uh, uh, that he passed away uh, 10 days after. A witness inside uh, the bar uh, said that it was unprovoked, uh, that it was not a case of self defense. As uh, she saw, when Zakim came inside uh, the bar and released uh, the flare pipe, BOW! Uh, just imagine, all your life, you have been watching movies like Jazz and Rangtone. In uh, Jazz, for example, uh, they use things like a flare tool to try to uh, take uh, down the sharks. But just imagine seeing one in real life, seeing a man use one on another man, right? After the incident, uh, Zakim was picked up. He did not uh, deny. He said that he had enough. Uh, some people said uh, that, yes, uh, this thing has been going on for a long time. But on the night he did uh, the thing, it was unprovoked. If it was a case of self-defense, then he had a road to walk. Uh, when uh, the matter went uh, before the court, uh, they brought up the mitigating factors. You see, they pointed out uh, that he spoke out early. And it was the first uh, time that he was committing such an offense. You see, uh, they wanted to start uh, the sentence about uh, 40 years. But uh, they saw that uh, Zakim could be rehabilitated because he was actually a cool guy. You know, they run the checks on you in the prisons and see how you are and so forth. And it uh, checked out uh, that he could be rehabilitated. And all the stories want to say condolences uh, to the family of Olivier. And I hope and I pray that uh, Zakim would have made use of the rehabilitation process. Learn a skill in prisons, my youth. Uh, because when you come outside, uh, persons won't want to employ you. They would say that oh, you committed such an offense and so forth. But if you have a skill, you can come out and work for yourself. You see, I know sometimes uh, that you guys get uh, frustrated really fast. Uh, but I was listening uh, to that song from Ziggy Rankin recently. Tired of the miserable life. Sometimes you feel tired of living. Sometimes you want to do things. You want to make money fast. But I take your time, youths. Life is not running away. Uh, St. Vincent is filled with her breadfruit. Uh, so nobody could say they are hungry. If uh, you tell them uh, that you don't have money uh, to pay the bills or to buy certain food uh, that you like, uh, that is another thing, or certain clothing and so forth. Uh, but uh, there's always bread fruit on trees, my friend. Uh, you see, if I had uh, to choose uh, between eating bread fruit 24-7 uh, uh, than being locked away in a cage uh, for 20 and 35 years, uh, for running into a building and taking what is not mine, I would choose the bread fruit because I would still have freedom and I would still have opportunities. Uh, there are places like uh, the Salvation Army. 
that still gives out food. There's the Red Cross and so on. Uh, so you can go there and you can get uh, some meals every day. Uh, so you don't have to trouble anybody's uh, tail. Uh, plus, uh, they have some nice uh, brand clothing as well. If you have a pride and you don't want nobody to see you going there, you probably can call their number and tell them to pack a bag. You're coming to collect it or you're sending someone and uh, they will just give you the package. I saw a lady one time well fitted out in a nice attire. I taught her that she was living in England. Uh, but uh, she told me she got some nice uh, things from the Salvation Army. If you see her, pretty nice. I end uh, by quoting Adija Palmer Vibes of Cortel. Get a youth older the fate. Uh, because uh, the prisons is filled with a lot of youths uh, that could not wait. <laughs>